Hello there, my name is Musa the Jain from Deben, South Africa. Welcome to another Getting Started with Cryptocurrency video tutorial. On this video tutorial, what I would like to do is to show you exactly how Luno wallets work. All right, so without any further ado, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Now, before we even dive right in, you, you might be asking yourself, why should you listen to me? I mean, who is Musa the Jain? Well, one of the reasons why you might want to listen to me is, is, is because I have... Uh, taught over 28,000 people how Bitcoin works, how to get started with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well. You can see that uh, this video was uploaded in November 2017. So I've been in the cryptocurrency space for quite some time. So uh, I know what I'm talking about. So if 28,000 people could listen to me, you might as well listen to me as well, right? So let's get started. So let's just say uh, you are new to cryptocurrencies. The first thing that you want to have is a Bitcoin wallet, right? Now, so how do you go about creating a Bitcoin wallet? What well, is very easy? What you're going to have to do is to click the link below this video. And um, once you have done that, you'll be redirected to a page like this one here. And what is going to happen is that when you register with my link, as you can see, it says Musa the Giant has, that, has uh, shared their invite code with you. So this means that this is my referral link. So when you click on that link and then buy Bitcoins that are worth uh, 500 rands or more, both of us are going to get bitcoins that are worth 25 friends for free all right so that's a win-win situation right there so once you have done that once once you have clicked the link below this video then you're gonna have to click the sign up button this button here once you have done that you will have uh, a sign up uh, form you just uh, enter your email address there and then enter your super secure password here and you need to make sure that you follow these uh, instructions here your password should be at least eight characters long or more one number one symbol and one uppercase uh, one uppercase letter so you need to make sure that your password is secure and very long but easier for you to to remember and then check this button here for you to, to be able to receive uh, news and uh, tips and uh, promos and indicate which country you are from and then after that just clean up, click on the sign up button now once you have signed up you need to download the luno app it could be either using the app store or google play you just download the luno app and then once you have downloaded it and then just sign into your new luno account all right so now when you log in for the first time in your brand new account what you're going to have to do is to what is to enter your uh, cell phone number there you can see that they have already entered the prefix so i just need to enter the rest of the numbers in there and then click the next button and then Luna will send you an SMS to verify your number. So check your SMS and enter the number that they would have sent to you. In my case, they sent me 7735 and press enter. And then it says uh, mission successful. So now you need to set up your profile. So simply enter your information here, your first name, exactly the way it appears on your documents, on your ID book. So just enter your information here, verify your profile, make sure that everything is correct click next and complete this process it's very easy and straightforward okay all right so now once you have done the basic verification when you log back into your luna app or if you go to luna.com and log in into your account uh what you would see you will see an interface like this one here right now what you need to do is to go to wallets and when you click on wallets you should be able to see all your bitcoin wallets or i mean all your wallets for instance your bitcoin wallet Bitcoin Cash Wallet, Ethereum Wallet, and your ZA Wallet. If you only see the Bitcoin Wallet, it means that you haven't done the verification, right? So in that case, what would you do? You would need to go to your profile, click on a profile, and then scroll down to the settings section. When you get there, just click on change settings. And then when you scroll down, make sure that you complete your information here, put your information here. And then click on verification so when you click on verification it will uh, allow you to be able to to upload your uh, your id copy uh, take your selfie holding your id book and so on and so forth so once you have done that then you should be able to move from one level of verification to the next level of verification for, for example from level one level two and level three all right depending on which documents we have submitted in my case you can see that i have done all the levels so i am fully verified so once you have done that when you go back to wallets 
uh, if you are using a smartphone or a tablet, the, uh, these tabs, the, especially the the, the 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 one S tab, is going to be displayed at the bottom of your screen. So once you have, we are once you are fully verified, then you'll be able to add more wallets. You'll be able to see more wallets, right? Now that you have a Bitcoin. Uh, account that you created for free no one can shut it down no one can freeze it you can send money to anyone anywhere in the world um, any time of the day or night how do you go about putting money into your bitcoin wallet because now the next step is to, is to send money from your bank account into your Luna account now the steps are, are very simple now what you're gonna have to do is to click on the za wallet and then click on a deposit and then they're going to display two banks here, Standard Bank and FNB. Regardless of what bank you are using, you can either click on FNB or Standard Bank, even if you are, you are banking with APSA and other banks. It doesn't matter. But it works very well and very fast if you are using a FNB account as well, right? So uh, in my case, I'm using FNB, so I'll just click on FNB. And then indicate how much you want to you want to you want to deposit. In my case, I will be depositing just uh, 500 rand for demonstration purposes and then click on next and once you have done that they will show you the bank details that you need to do in order to send money from your bank to your Luna account now make 100% sure that you use this exact information to send money from your bank to your Luna account all right so you're gonna take this information and add Luna as one of your recipients in your uh, bank for instance uh, I'm using FNB I will add uh, Luna as my recipient so so that it's going to be easy for me to uh, you know pay and have money sent from my account to my Luna account so let's just go ahead and do that all right so now I am on fnb.co.za so what I will do is I will um, log in into my FNB account by the way if you are watching this and you are not in South Africa uh, if Luna is not supported in your country you can try um, coinbase or local uh, local bitcoins the links are going to be below this video but in my case i'm in south africa uh, I'm, i am going to be logging into my bank account now and then i will take things from there all right so i will just go to accounts and then um, as i said i have already added luna as one of my recipients so if in your case if you haven't done that do that first so in my case i already done that so i will just go to pay and then I will indicate that I want to pay from, um, okay, I'll indicate that I want to pay Luna. So here is Luna. And uh, make sure that you use the exact reference that they gave you. Remember that when you were, you were indicating that you want to pay money to your Luna account, they gave you this reference. They gave you, actually they gave it to you twice. You can see that it also appears here. So make sure that you double check this. This is very, very, very important, all right? So in my case, everything is there. So now I need to indicate how much I want to pay. It's 500 rand for this demonstration. And I will go ahead and click on pay. All right, so I, do I really want to do this? Yes, I want to confirm I want to do that. So successful. So I will just click on finish and then switch back to my Luna account and then scroll down. And then I, I will click this button that says um, I've made a deposit, right? Now, what is going to happen is that when I go back to my wallet, and sure enough, my 500 rand is there now. It just, it took literally second. It happened, uh, you know, instantly because Luno is banking with uh, FNB. I am also banking with FNB. But if you are uh, banking with uh, Capitec, with APSA and other banks, or um, your money might take a couple of hours uh, to uh, maybe to even a day before it appears here. So it's easier to use FNB. You might consider to, uh, you know, opening an FNB account in order for your stuff to, to work very quickly. All right. So um, now that I have rent in my ZA wallet, what is the next step? Well, the next step is very easy. Now I need to convert my rents into, into Bitcoin. I will need to, in other words, I need to buy Bitcoin. So how do I go about doing that? I just click on the buy button and then indicate which currency I want to buy. I don't want to buy Ethereum for, for now. I just want to buy Bitcoin, right? And then from which wallet? From the ZA wallet. In other words, I'm buying Bitcoins with RANs. Uh, how much do I want to use? Because I have 500 RANs. In my case, I want to use the maximum. And then I click on next. 
And then this is the confirmation that I want to buy bitcoins. So I'm going to receive this amount of bitcoins and uh, the network is going to charge me about 10 rents, 2% of my uh, 500 rents. And I need to click the confirm button. And because I'm using uh, two-factor authentication to protect my Luno account, I need to enter the verification code to indicate that I am the real person. I am the owner of this account. Um, in my case, they gave me 396001. And sure enough, mission success. Now let's just click on done and quickly go back to wallets. Now you can see that I no longer have rents. I only have one cent in my ZA wallet. But if you take a look at my Bitcoin wallet, I have now Bitcoins that are worth 490 rents. As you can see, that's how easy it is to buy Bitcoins with Luno, right? So even if you wanted to buy uh, Bitcoin Cash or Ethereum, you would follow the exact same steps, but you would have to indicate which cryptocurrency you, you want to buy. In my case, I specifically wanted to buy Bitcoin. Now, let us say now um, I need my money. I, want, I need to cash out. I need to send my money from my Luna wallet back to my FNB account. Now, the first thing that I need to do in order for me to be able to do that, I need to convert my Bitcoins back into into rents. Now, how do I go about doing that? It is very much easy. You just click on the sell button and then indicate which cryptocurrency you want to sell. In my case, I want to sell a Bitcoin. I want to sell it to uh, for Zar. And I want to sell all of it. So I will just uh, click the max button and then click on next. Again, this is the verification. They're going to charge me another, another uh, 10 rents for doing this. So I'll receive 480 now. So click on confirm. And I need to enter that code again to verify that I am the right person to do this transaction. So let me go back to my app right here. And uh, this time they gave me 291 87 and mission success. So if I go back to my wallet, now you can see that I no longer have Bitcoins, but if you take a look at my ZA wallet, you can see that I have 481 rents. Now I can be able to withdraw my money from my Luna back to my bank. So how do I do that? I just click on the, the ZA wallet and then click on withdraw and indicate which bank account I want to use. In your case, you might be um, having a blank page here because you might have not added your banking details. So in, in that case, you would have to click on add new bank details and then just add your bank details so that your money moves from your loan account back to your bank account. So in my case, I want to use this account here and I need to indicate how much I want to withdraw. I want to withdraw 480 bucks. You can put some notes here if you want, but in my case, I will just leave it blank and then click on next. This is the verification. So this time around, I'm going to be charged 850 to do this uh, withdrawal. So as a result, I will receive only 472 rents in my bank account. So I'm happy with that. Let me just click on confirm. Again, I need to enter that code again. So this time is different. It's going to be 870 and 872 and click on and then as you can see, mission success. So now if I go back to my wallet, uh, you would notice that I, don't, I no longer have Bitcoins, I no longer have rents because I just uh, made a withdrawal. If I go into my emails, I can see that I have just received an email from Luna indicating that I have withdrawn this amount of money and it will be in my account within the next uh, few hours because I'm banking with FNB. But if you're banking with a different bank, it's going to take longer, right? So you might want to, uh, to use FNB if you want your things to move faster and smoother, right? So yeah, basically that's how uh, Luna Wallet uh, work. And um, remember to subscribe to this channel so that you, you don't uh, miss my future videos as well. So just continue learning. And um, that's it for this video. My name is Musa Dejan from Deben, South Africa. Thank you for watching. Let's get this crypto.